It's time to crown the first ever TNT champion. Will it be Cody? Will it be Lance Archer? He's setting him up for blackout. Cody, oh, he comes back down. Oh, crossroads. Cody wins it. The TNT championship means an awful lot to all of us. We're very proud to be on TNT. When you're first at something, it means more. And, and he say that with pride and conviction. If you think my story is one of, of nepotism or, or, or favoritism, think again. My mother taught me everything I need to know about grit, about work. It isn't about talent. You can have all the talent in the world and you can shove it up your ass. If you stand next to me on the track, I will outrun you, I will outdog you, I will outlast you, I will outwork you. Just because he's the son of a Hall of Famer doesn't guarantee you're gonna be great. He's made himself great through his hard work. He does the work. I'm about to turn a pace. I'm about to cut a schedule like no wrestler before. It is official in this moment. I will stand out here every week for the AEW TNT Championship. This is an open challenge. When Cody said, I'm going to defend that TNT championship every week, I loved it. It shows how vitally important the TNT championship is to the American Nightmare. It's, it's a pace that not only tests Cody's physical conditioning, but also his mental conditioning, his ability to prepare for a new challenger week in and week out. We've watched Cody defend against Jungle Boy, to Mark Wen, to Ricky Starks, and, and no back down in him. But now at Fighter Fest, when you're dealing with a Jake Hager, that is a completely different beast. He's involved with breaking Dustin's arm. He's part of the inner circle. The very first Dynamite, he literally took my soul out of my body on that Vader bomb. What makes me different from the other challengers that Cody has faced? For starters, everything. You could say I'm bigger. I have six inches and 60 pounds on any of them. He's, oh, oh come, on here. come on, Come on! Laying hands on Arn Anderson. That's unheard of. And, oh, oh my God, Cody going to orbit. You could say that I'm faster. I have years of experience. I have a career with some of the biggest matches in wrestling. Hager wrestled in Division One. He was an All-American three years. He holds a record at OU for most pins in a season. Cody has a great amateur wrestling background as well. And uh, to me, that's the most interesting part of this whole match. Jake, I think I know what you're asking. You want a TNT title match at Fighter? Is that what you want? You got it. Oh, for Fighter Fest. What, Fighter Fest just got that much bigger. I have faced Cody outside of AEW. This is a different man. He's an executive here at AEW. He has wisdom. He has the experience. This is the best Cody you will ever see in your lifetime. But that's the thing about AEW, because when I joined AEW, it changed my life as well. This isn't the same Jake Hager. I've wrestled Jake in cages. I've wrestled Jake in tag matches. Uh, I've wrestled Jake with pain on my face. This is us both right in our prime. Destroying your enemy is my only focus. As a prize fighter, I only see the prize and I'm ready to fight. I don't think Jake has what it takes in the tank. No doubt, all the pedigree in the world. Jim Ross is gonna tell you a thousand times on commentary about how great of an amateur wrestler Jake is. Cool, we're getting paid now, but say an amateur wrestling. You're gonna be locked into a ring with me, a professional fighter, professional in two sports, one on one. I like to fight. I like the taste of my own blood. I like the feeling. You know. I can't lose. You know there is no way I can lose. I want a career that's something that's gonna last forever on my own, and this was my thing. Uh, Dusty never won the TNT Championship. He's a legitimate champion, and he goes out there every single week and proves it. It is not hyperbole, it is not a tall tale, it is not a legend of wrestling to say that nothing is more important than holding the TNT Championship, and at this point, keeping it. So f Jake Hager. I don't care which Jake shows up. Hey, get her off the stage now! Get her off the stage! Cody, Jake Hager, for the TNT Championship! So this is going to be a slobber knocker, I can tell you that right now. Oh! No, she's not 
done yet. Boom! With the knee to the face. Covers. Two. Three. Yes, she got it. Sheeta's a champion. Sheeta has upset Nana Rose. For Hikaru Sheeta to win the AEW Women's World Championship, it was uh, it was a dream fulfilled. I believe that Sheeta's a warrior. Right now, she's the warrior queen of uh, AEW. I got four single belts in Japan, so I know the most difficult time is after taking a belt. Describe the woman's champion, Sheeta? <laughs> I mean, she's good, don't get me wrong, but like, she's not me. It's not Penelope Ford. Penelope Ford, to me, when she comes through the curtain, she screams megastar. She's hard to take your eyes off of, not only because she's a beautiful woman, but because she does so many things that other women won't even try. I really hate how Penelope's fight. Get up, Get up, Henry. Henry. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. She is out after that belt. She's got her heart. Oh, there you go. There she she was she was One, two, three. Yes. Yes. I pinned Sheeta. I've even pinned Rio. I've beaten the best. So that makes me the number one contender. I, I think she doesn't deserve to be the champion. She can't fight alone. Penelope Ford has proven that she is not afraid to take shortcuts. I think Sheeta, in order to successfully retain this title, is going to have to have eyes in the back of her head. I am a warrior. I'm not too sure Penelope is be able to cope with one of those knee strikes <laughs> that Sheeta can dish out. I'm gonna go with Penelope Ford winning the women's world title just because I think she's uh, so athletic. Why don't we have a one-on-one -on -one matchup? And if it is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, Sheeta wins. If it's not one-on-one -on -one and there's other people at ringside, don't take your eye off of Penelope Ford. Oh, look there at that, Penelope Ford! I am going to beat the hell out of Sheeta. And to be honest, that belt will look better on me. Oh. And now Sheeta, oh! Sheeta comes around to get her some more. These two want to tear the hell out of each other for the AEW Women's title. Even enough to fight off fest, I'll still be champion. Interesting makeup of the two teams that are involved in the tag title match. You got the challengers, best friends. How's our posture? Do we look uh, confident? It's been well uh, documented that there is some sort of unique relationship between uh, Kenny Omega and Hangman Page. I feel that out of anyone, I can relate to you the most. So call out what you will. Oh, no, shut up. That's not true. No, come on. We're like brothers, you know, right. a brotherhood. Omega and Paige, it's like they're two different animals. One guy's drinking just straight JD, the other guy's drinking milk. It's disgusting. We got a half drunk guy, and the other guy is gonna have. Full of milk? How many drinking buddies you have? I can, count, I can count the amount of drinking buddies you have on one hand. These guys can't even drink the same drink, and they call themselves champions? And it, since I'm the only one, I might just be your best friend. Hmm? I was there for the genesis of best friends when Chuck Taylor and Trent first met. See this? Friendship. Yep, we're best friends. They like to hug each other. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Got to give the people what they want. I mean, when you're just good friends, best friends, what else are you going to do, really, besides hug? I mean, a show of affection, I'm all about it. We get all stoked on it, you know what I mean? No, like, we're, not, we're not trying to, like, have fun out there. We're no. hugging because it makes us strong. They somehow have found a bit of synergy in between them. You go through a lot with your best friend. We've been through a lot. Like what? Um, sports is all about momentum. And right now, best friends, they're red hot. I mean, it hasn't been easy. We've been here since day one. And as many companies as we've wrestled in around the world, we've never held tag titles anywhere. Nope. They have paid those dues. They have earned their stripes. And they've done it with sweat equity. Let's go! We're the real deal. These guys know how to win. They know how to wrestle. They've been doing it for years. You think I'm not going to take them seriously? I'm not ready to lose the belts. It seems like Paige and Omega are getting closer. When we decide to be the best, we just do it. We decided to be a tag team just like that. When we decided to go for the gold, we won them just like that. When we decided to have the greatest tag team match in the history of professional wrestling, we kind of did it just like that. Their biggest asset is that last call, that combination buckshot, lariat, V-trigger. So far, 
that has been 100% effective for them. Has Paige and or Omega lulled us into a false sense of security that everything's okay? I'm not buying it. I think there's some combustible elements here that have yet to rear their head lately. We finally got our first shot at the tag team titles and I'll be damned if I'm gonna let that go to waste. Trent, Chuck, you know, Hangman and I, we may not be good friends. We sure as hell ain't best friends. <laughs> what you're looking at are the best wrestlers and the best champions. This is the biggest match of our life. We're gonna f these boys up. We'll see you two weirdos at Fighter Fest.